Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today uh, inexpensive, no money required how to make an extension cord for Christmas or for your tools and, and so on Alright, so let's dive in straight away Alright friends, we have here this cable that we managed to salvage from a vacuum cleaner which we did find and was virtually inexpensive Normally this cleaners, vacuum cleaners have long wires, you know, because you need it to go around the house and stuff. So I'm going to show you today how to make a simple inexpensive extension cord like this. So we got a wire, yeah, a bunch of wire. We got this cable here. As well, we have a salvage uh, plug like this with multiple sockets. This one, look, yeah, pay attention. This one it says like uh, non-rewirable socket outlet. How about that? This is not rewirable. What that means? This one is sealed together, so you don't have access to it and remove the wires. If you would have access to it, just we're gonna remove this cable, open it up, put this one in, and that's it. Job done. But we don't have it, so we're gonna proceed by stripping these wires. Don't go too deep, and watch out this. Exacto knife is very sharp. Here you go, friends. We have managed to strip the wires. We're gonna cut it a little bit longer to have more access to the wires. Normally, it's got four wires. Um, yellow and green one which is the ground, brown and blue if, let's see if it says yeah, live is brown and neutral is blue so live, neutral, ground alright alright, so we have exposed this wire now we're gonna do the same thing <coughs> to this end this one is from the vacuum cleaner and what I saw interesting this cable doesn't have three wires so that means this one is not gonna have the earth, the grounding which is a bummer but it is what it is Alright friends, we have managed to have all the wires apparently we have just two wires on this end and three here so it's a bummer but we're gonna cut this one and we're gonna connect this one as there are blue to blue and brown to brown or better yet, we're gonna leave it here. Maybe we're gonna need it on some other project. Now we're gonna proceed to stripping the wires. Come on, very tough. Okay, we have the wires stripped. Now we're gonna twist them together. Like so, and this one's. We're gonna take some heat shrinking tubes, like these ones. Let's see which one is gonna fit to the to the thing after we're gonna finish with it. This one, yeah. This one looks alright. And some small ones. See if we're gonna find here. Normally I have a bunch of them, but now just a few. So it is what it is. Okie dokie, let's cut this one in half. Put it on the longer wires. Each one, one of this stuff on each tube. This one is kind of creepy. can solder the wire if you want, but it's no needed. And now, pay attention. This is a very quick method to solder the wires, twist them back together. Like you are making a knot. There you go. Ah, uh, just a sec. All right, I'm gonna twist it a little bit more. One more time. 
and that should be enough. We're going to do the same thing with the other wire and we should be ready to go. As I told you, you can solder these wires, but there's no need for that at the moment. Because this is just for demonstration purpose only, so try if you can. Do not do this stuff at home. Okay. So we have isolated the wires. Now you can add some extra tape to prevent them from touching each other. Put something in between, then shrink to that one and good to go. Alright friends, we are back now. We're just gonna use a small lighter. What is the thing? The solar is here. I'm gonna put this one in the middle. I'm gonna use the lighter to shrink tubes there you go i'm gonna go both sides let's see what this one is i'm gonna try to put the stuff in the middle there you go i'm gonna use it on all sides don't take it too long because this stuff is gonna burn there you go Wires are connected pretty all right. We're gonna put some stuff in between. As an extra safety precaution, we can use one of this uh, stuff, plastic stuff that we stripped early. We can cut it in half and put it on one uh, leg. And then we're gonna put the tube back. As you can see here, we have this stuff. We're gonna put it on one leg, like so. And we're gonna hope it's gonna fit to this one. Yeah. So it's fitting right. Have to be gentle. Baby steps. Yeah. There you go. You have managed to slide it slowly because that bump was kind of big and slowly we're gonna slide this stuff till the end there you go. we can use a plier or something but it is not needed maybe more And I decided to keep this wire. Maybe we're gonna use it in the future. And we'll never know. Yeah. Hey, my friends. That was the extension cable. Very easy to make. Inexpensive. No money required. Thanks all for watching. No skill required. Out and see you on the dismantling the vacuum cleaner. Cha-cha! Yeah. Happy holidays.